Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this? Why does Roadblock have an Arashikage tattoo on his arm? Hello everybody, it's Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and I'm back with another G.I. Joe toy review video, and we're changing it up a little bit this time. Normally I focus on vintage G.I. Joe action figures and vehicles, but I had a chance to pick this up today, and so we're going to do a modern G.I. Joe action figure. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Battle Kata Roadblock from G.I. Joe uh, Retaliation, uh, and so this is going to be kind of new. Uh, maybe we can compare the vintage figures to the modern figures and just see how they hold up. Uh, this should be fun. I'm going to go ahead and open this. I do not collect carded action figures uh, anyway, so I don't really have a problem taking him out of the box. I'm not going to leave him mint on the card. Uh, we're going to tear, in, tear into this and uh, take a good look at the action figure and see if we like him. So uh, here we go. Okay, we've got the packaging open, and we've got a lot of parts. We're going to take a closer look at those. Uh, just a quick glance at the packaging. Uh, we have uh, a photograph of the figure on here. We have the typical G.I. Joe retaliation, you know, card art. Uh, we've got some pictures on the back of different ways that you can play with the figure, and, uh, and a few of the other action figures that you can get in this line. Uh, but we've got a lot of parts here, so let's put Roadblock together and see how he looks. And here we have Roadblock completely assembled with all of his accessories. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Let's, uh, let's first of all take a look at his accessories. We always like to look at the accessories first. Uh, he comes with lots of little bits. Um, these really large holsters um, on his thighs here have two, I don't know, looks like machine pistols, but these actually come apart. This, uh, these separate both of them. Uh, and these little handles serve as handles for his other interchangeable accessories. See, he has um, this kind of baton thing here. Uh, and that connects. You can connect that to one of these. There you go. And uh, he's got, th uh, he's actually got four small blades. Uh, these two that connect to his flak jacket here. I'm going to pull these out. They actually go into the uh, the scabbards there, the sheaths, uh, and I like that. I, I wish that more vintage G.I. Joe action figures had that feature uh, with holsters for their weapons and, uh, you know, a place to put knives and other accessories. Uh, so it's nice that the modern figures do more of that. That's good. This looks a little bit rinky-dink, a um, little stubby, uh, but uh, the larger blade... Here's one of them, and the other one's down here at his ankle. These look a little bit better um, in the handle. There we go. Looks a little bit more menacing. Still a bit stubby compared to the very large handle. Um, Roadblock, like the original, comes with his 50 caliber Browning machine gun. And that's nice. This was actually kind of hidden in the package, so I was worried that Roadblock, who's supposed to be a heavy machine gunner, uh, was only going to come with small weapons. But uh, this is nice. I'm glad that they included this. I really would have been disappointed if it didn't have his famous machine gun. Unfortunately, it does not fit very well in in his hands. It doesn't fit at all, really. It, it, it just slides or pops right out. Um, I guess he could hold it two-handed. Um... And let's see, he's got this flak jacket here. Uh, it uh, pegs in here at the side. Pop that out and uh, slide that off of him. Slide that over his head. It's a little bit more difficult to get out than I would like for it to be. And there you have Roadblock. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what is this? What is this? Why does Roadblock have an Arashikage tattoo on his arm? No. No. Roadblock cannot be a ninja. They didn't make Roadblock a ninja, did they? No way. Let me, let me look at that packaging again. 
Hold on a second. Let's see. Battle Kata Roadblock. What's that? Oh, no. No, no, no. What's this? Um, let's see. Roadblock uh, battles evil Cobra enemies with his unique Battle Kata fighting system. Really. Um, the G.I. Joe leader, leader, whatever, um, uses on-the-fly weapon switching and martial arts moves to take out his attackers. They made him a ninja, didn't they? Look, at no point in the G.I. Joe storyline was Roadblock ever a ninja. He does not need to be a ninja. He kicked Storm Shadow's ass in the comic book using just sheer brute force. He does not need ninja skills. What is the purpose of this? You can't just... I mean, I know that Snake Eyes is popular, but you just can't make all of the characters a ninja. I mean, look, here. Roadblock, you want to be a ninja? Yeah, I want to be a ninja. Congratulations, you're a ninja. Uh, lift Ticket, you want to be a ninja? Uh -huh. Okay, you're a ninja. General General Hawk, do you want to be a ninja? I don't want to be a ninja. Too bad, you're a ninja. All you guys, head out to the tattoo parlor to get your Arashi Kage tats. Because you're all ninjas now. Everybody's a ninja. Everybody gets to be a ninja. I have to pause the review now. I need a drink. And we're back. <sighs> Everybody's gotta be a ninja. Jeez. Sure, why not? Why not? Everybody gets to be a ninja. Just just put the tattoo on everyone. They're all ninjas. Okay, let's uh, look at his articulation. Uh, he's got modern G.I. Joe articulation. He does not have uh, the traditional O-ring construction, so he can't do the waist bendy thing, but he can turn side to side. Arm goes all the way around, up and down, yippee do. This kind of uh, almost ratchets a little bit, doesn't move very well. Uh, has um, uh, wrist articulation, uh, turns at the wrist, which is actually kind of nice. I wish that some of the vintage uh, figures did that. Uh, that would have saved a lot of thumb breakage, I think. Um, let's see. Legs kind of go like that. He can do the splits about that far. Um, his knees, uh, he's got a nice little double joint thing at the knees, which I like. Uh, allows more realistic knee movement than the vintage figures. Uh, he's got ankle articulation that nobody asked for, and it just makes him more awkward to pose. His head turns side to side, does not go up and down. So, hey, there's a little bit of the throwback uh, to 1984. Uh, he has less articulation uh, at the neck and really less articulation at the torso than the vintage figures. So, whoopee do, uh, there's modern roadblock. Okay, so let's, uh, let's compare modern roadblock to, uh, stand up. You stand up. Come on, roadblock, you've had too much to drink. Stand up, man. Stand up for yourself. Uh, let's uh, compare, compare modern roadblock with the original version one from 1984. The roadblock we all fell in love with. There we go. First thing that is immediately apparent is the scale is totally different. Um, this roadblock is like eight feet tall compared to the first roadblock. Uh, he doesn't stand up very well. Um, but, uh, I mean, there are some good points. There are some points uh, in the new roadblock that are really much better than the original. For one thing, let's look at this uh, this head sculpt. Let's, let's take Roadblock's helmet off. And he has a milk dud head. I don't know what else to call it. He, his head was sh sculpted in a really odd shape. And it just doesn't look right. It looks like, like an alien head. At the time, they were not really good at sculpting, you know, uh, musculature into the uh, into the figures. They tried to look make him look bulky and muscular, but you know it just ends up looking kind of odd. Um, I do like the original um, uniform that he was wearing, uh, the kind of brown pants um, and the the camouflage shirt that's kind of uh, open, the tank top with the straps. Um, I mean, it, it's a classic look, uh, but I've got to admit it does look a little bit odd, especially around the head, um, the arms. I mean, it's supposed to be uh, stronger than your average G.I. Joe, but the arms really were not any bigger than any other G.I. Joe figure of uh, that era. 
Um, and uh, so, yeah, there, there are a few knocks against the original that, uh, that the new one improves. Uh, it would be nice if they were in the same scale. I, I am disappointed that the modern G.I. Joe figures don't keep the same scale. Uh, make it a little bit awkward to use the modern figures with the vintage vehicles. So that kind of sucks, I guess. Uh, hold on. Uh, head sculpt is better. Uh, his head isn't shaped weird. Uh, he looks like the rock, so I guess that's something. Maybe you like that kind of thing. Uh, I like the uh, more military look of the uniform. You know, he's got a, a, sh a shirt on this time, so that's all right. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, some great points about the modern figures. Um, the ankle, or I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, wrist articulation. You know, I don't care what you say, you know. I like to put the guns in the vintage figures with the butt stock of the gun inside the arm, but that's kind of awkward uh, because really if you don't want to put any strain on the thumb, they end up going in this way and it just looks like they're holding their guns wrong. Um, so some wrist articulation on those guys actually would have helped that a little bit. Uh, so I'm actually happy to see it in the modern figures. Uh, they are made of a much more pliable plastic than the vintage figures. This vintage figure is, is you know, much more solid and can be brittle compared to the modern figures. This is not likely to crack and break uh, nearly as easily as the original roadblock, so that's a plus. Um, we have a back peg. Uh, the back peg I don't believe will fit the vintage action figure backpacks. Nope. So another thing you cannot use uh, with the vintage figures. Um, it has a foot peg, but it does not fit the vintage... Uh, it has a foot hole. It does not fit the, the vintage figure stands, so that's out. So, I mean, they really made this to be its own thing. It's not a continuation of the vintage line at all. And I guess that's good in some ways and bad in other ways. Let's put the accessories back together and uh, look at these guys side by side. And here we have Battle Kata Roadblock side by side with Vintage 1984 Roadblock. Uh, there's uh, the modern Roadblock who cannot hold his 50 caliber machine gun. Uh, vintage Roadblock can. We have modern Roadblock with his itty bitty dinky winky little knives and swords. Um, and uh, there you have it. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can keep up on new videos and new uh, awesome G.I. Joe reviews that I'll be posting. Uh, and make sure to like this video. Uh, or if you just love Ninja Roadblock, don't forget to uh, dislike this video. Let's get lots of thumbs down for everybody who loves Ninja Roadblock. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, catch you again later.